Hi, I'm Trina, and this is Trina Creates. Wow, it's almost summer in Alaska. Seems like it's been a long time coming. Here, in the next month or two, we'll have about five to six months of living our best life before the snow flies. It's gonna get hot. We're gonna be out doing all types of fun things, fishing, biking, I'm not biking, hiking maybe a little bit, doing a little bit of glamping, yeah. Well, part of trying to keep cool is keeping your hair off your neck. Scrunchy, a crocheted hair scrunchy will be just the thing for you. Have you ever been in a pinch and just grabbed a rubber band and when you snatched it out there was a whole bunch of clumps of hair stuck there well with these crochet scrunchies you can uh, have that cute hairstyle and not have any of the hair breakage one of the things that we do here on the channel is we'll do project walkthroughs and the project that we're going to do today is a crochet hair scrunchie this one I think is very basic as long as you know some um, basic crochet stitches you should be able to make yourself a hair scrunchie the first stitch or technique that you need to be familiar with is making a slip knot the next one is going to be a slip stitch the next one will be a single crochet and the last stitch you need to be familiar with is a half double crochet if you have these techniques down you're ready to go so let's get started with the project Project Supplies Needed A Luxe Lime Brand Yarn or any size 4 yarn A Crochet Hook Size G An Elastic Hair Band Scissors And a Yarn Darning Needle So to get started, the first thing that you're going to do is create your slip knot. You won't need your crochet hook for this and there are a lot of different techniques to create a slip knot you can do a internet search for that. I like to do it this way. I wrap the yarn around my finger twice. I bring this loop over the first loop and then I have that loop kind of leapfrog right off my finger. I pull it and I have a slip knot. Insert my crochet hook. Grab your elastic band. And now you're going to do a slip stitch to attach your yarn to your elastic band. So now you're attached. You will do one chain stitch. And our next step is to go all the way around the elastic band and you're going to do a single crochet around. Now you can do as many stitches as the elastic band will hold. I found that typically about 40 stitches is about perfect. Um, sometimes I go until I just can't see the elastic band anymore. So let's go ahead and do that single crochet stitch all the way around the elastic band. And then we'll get back together back at the beginning chain one stitch. feel like you need more room just go ahead and push the stitches you'll be able to even that out to your liking when you're done
think I can fit a few more in. Now that you're back at the beginning, you're going to skip that initial chain one stitch and you are going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made. Okay, so now your band is um, covered. We're going to go on to round two. This round you're going to do a chain one stitch and in the same stitch as your chain one stitch, you are going to do a single crochet. And you're going to continue that in each stitch around. So it's a repeat of the first round. The only difference is with this stitch, you are going to single crochet into that initial chain one stitch. So let's go around. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning. I'm gonna skip that initial chain one stitch, closing up the loop. Looks all nice and velvety. That's one of the things I like about this Velux brand yarn. Um, it's, well, not a brand, it's the Velux um, yarn and the brand is um, Lion Brand Yarn. Um, but to get back to this project, this next round, which would be round one, two, three, you're going to chain two. And in the exact same stitch as that chain two, you're going to do three half double crochets. So same stitch, three half double crochets. Continue around and in each and every stitch of this round, you are going to do three half double crochets. And you'll see what fun thing that creates. I'll see you back at the beginning.
Okay, we've got one more stitch that I need to get three half double crochets in. That brings me back to the beginning. So if you've got your first um, chain two stitches, that you're going to skip past those, and instead you're going to, two, right there, you're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet that you created. You can kind of see the ruffle going on there. This one's kind of flat because that's where I'm, I'm pressing and putting my stitches in. Um, so to end it, you could end here. However, I like to do one last step that gives it kind of like a, a polished edge. To get that polished edge, what you're going to do is do a complete round of slip stitches. So you have your slip stitch where you um, join the end of the round. You're not going to do a chain one stitch here. You're going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch there and continue the process all the way around. And you'll see what I mean about that polished edge look. Okay, so now that you're back at the beginning of the round and with a slip stitch, now you've completed your round. So let's see how that looks. Yeah. Trim our ends. it through. Now we're going to finish it off by weaving in the ends. You grab your yarn darner needle Now the edges of this can be fuzzy. Okay. into my back side. A little bit of fuzz there. Okay. 
And I do a couple of extra ones just to make sure it doesn't come loose. And don't forget your beginning tail. We need to weave that in as well. And there you have it, your very own crochet scrunchie. Well, this is the end of our crochet scrunchie project walkthrough. What do you think? Have a project in mind you'd like to see me present next? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be notified when new videos drop. See you on Wednesday when we go through whips. That's works in progress. Until then, get your craft on.